Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. I hope you're having an awesome day so far. It's only gonna get better because today we're gonna talk about uh, bass strings. Uh, it's a new one I got, I put it on my lovely jazz bass. Dunlop stainless steel, 4100. It's the first time I put uh, 4100 kind of tension on my strings. Normally I play with uh, 45105 like this. I think it's kind of the standard for most bass. So this one is a bit more tension. And those ones, it's a bit looser, it's a bit easier on the fingers. Uh, it's something I'm very, very excited to try because uh, I hurt my fingers a lot while playing bass. After a while of slapping, I get blisters on my fingers, I can't play anymore, otherwise I start bleeding and so on, it's very annoying. I was like, okay, let's try something not as tight. So here I introduce the Dunlop Stainless Steel 4100. It's the one I decided to start with. Uh, because they were kind of cheap, I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks, something like this, which is not bad for bass strings. I'm gonna review it in this video, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like, and uh, you can make your own idea about them, do you like the tone, do you like the sound or not, and I'm gonna especially tell you what it feels like on my finger. I'm practicing a song right now, so I'm gonna just play that, I'm not gonna play over any drums or anything, it's just to show you the tone. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the cover in a couple weeks when I release it. For recording, I'm on Logic Pro, I'm using is a clean bass modern stack preset that comes stuck from it. It's uh, my go-to for recording bass. So let's uh, let's get to it. Very, very bright, very punchy, I like it. They're brand new, so it's often like this, but those ones in particular, I'll overlay a little part of what I just played with the um, sound picked up from my room microphone, and you'll get, you'll, you'll understand, it's like... Like, not amplified, by default, they have a really, really bright sound on top of what's actually picked up. That felt like, uh, actually too bright for me, even. But then when you just recorded and listen to the recording or when you play with headphones or like if you play very loud for example in a concert you're not gonna notice obviously it's better that way than the other way around like uh, if they were not bright enough I would be sad so here I'm, I'm happy and the recorded sound I really really like very happy with that and in terms of the tension actually I'm gonna tell a little anecdote Cause it's something I've noticed, like uh, basically every year around Christmas I make a slap video where it's just me playing random improvisation. And it always happened uh, when I was practicing another sound that it's got uh, drop D tuning. So instead of being like uh, E, A, D, G, it would be D, B, and so on. You get the idea, it's like one tone lower. So the strings were looser. And then I was like, oh wow, it's so easy to slap when the strings are not as tight. I loved it and that's why every year I record a video, I record slap because I'm having so much fun playing on loser strings. So that's why I got those in normal tuning, those are not as tight. So to give you a comparison, if you take um, 45, 105, it's the most common I think, and then you drop D, it's gonna be a bit loose. These ones, they're in between basically. It's a bit more comfortable to play, it's a bit easier to play, I really like that, that's exactly what I was looking for. But it's not like super loose that the strings just vibrate everywhere and it's like out of the way when you want to pick it or something, it's not like this. You can play very tight bass lines if you want and like your fingers are always gonna be at the right spot, you're not gonna miss the string accidentally because it's too loose, it's not that kind of loose. But I think it's just, just that extra little bit of easiness on your finger, it's less tiring and you're not gonna hurt your fingers. Like I've been playing so much since yesterday, my fingers are still perfect, like they're not tired, there's no part that ripped off, no like blisters, no nothing. So it's super comfortable, I'm very, very happy. I think it's gonna be my go-to from now on to, uh, to play with 4100 tension. And in terms of sound, I was worried maybe because it's looser, it also would be less punchy, uh, a bit less lively, I don't know. Um, in practice, you listen to it, right? It's like very, still very punchy, very bright, very energetic sound. Uh, there's no problem with that. 
That's awesome, I love it. Very excited about finding this out after like pre, after four years, five years of playing bass now. I wish I tried that earlier. So, uh, so that's a message for you. It's like, if you play bass and like you hurt your fingers all the time, you're not very happy about that. Give a shot to 4100 bass strings like this one. Uh, makes it very nice for, uh, for your fingers and they still sound awesome. And also, now you're there, I'm gonna tell you a little story about those strings. Actually, this one, the Dunlop Superbright Stainless Steel 45105, it's strings I bought a year ago exactly. And I actually made a little video about it because I had an issue with it. So I bought them on uh, Strings and Beyond, the sponsor of this video, and no, I'm kidding, I, I wish. In the comments on the, those strings, someone said uh, they sound really nice, but there's a problem with them is that uh, very often they break right at the base when you put them on. And guess what happened? When I put it on my base, the string broke as well. That was very sad, and then I uh, emailed them. I'm like, hey guys, like uh, the string broke as I was putting it on. You sell just one string so I can replace it. And they tell me, no, it only comes in four pack or five pack. But they were super kind and they shipped a new one for me. That was really really nice of them. So thank you Strings and Beyond for this, I really appreciate. Then I decided to try a bit lower tension strings like this, so I also got it from there. Uh, I got this one on the base I just showed you, a stainless steel regular, let's say, and this is a super bright variant. I didn't get to try this one yet. Hopefully it doesn't break, uh, hopefully there's not the same issue with uh, the lower tension version. I'll update you on this when I try them. I think that's uh, everything I wanted to say for today. So I hope this video was useful. Let me know in the comments what kind of string you play with. Did you find your perfect string uh, that you love so much? Let me know what it is. Uh, if you played lower tension like this or not. Don't forget to put a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this, if you want to see the covers I'm gonna release in the next, uh, in the future. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. It's pretty good actually. I haven't tuned them today, I just tuned them yesterday and they held, like they're brand new, they held the tuning pretty well right away, so that's. That's cool, that a thumbs up for me already. I really like stainless steel strings. That's stainless steel, that's stainless steel, that's stainless steel. A stainless steel regular, super bright stainless steel. They sound really bright for slapping. They have a very powerful, very punchy high end. This is super fucking bright. It's just the regular stainless steel. I also have the super bright version. It's actually super, super fucking bright. I like slapping on stainless steel and stuff like this. I think that's everything I wanted to say for today. I hope this video was useful. <laughs>